All right, this is the final part. Obviously, you guys better enjoy this series wise of Hammond. Because once I'm king, I'm peace on my wife. I'm taking off the throne. You're going to be left behind. You're not going to be saved. You're going to pay for the price, man. I don't play around with that. I don't play around with this mess of my life. And my sabotage, stupid, what? Zero views channel, man. You made me pay. You're also going to pay too. I'm going to keep saying that. As I'm not going to let you do it like that, man. I'm not going to let you do it like that. I'm going to win the game. You're not going to win the game. And if Peter Jackson's chosen, he's lucky. Or Mel Gibson. They're going to get experience at Sesame with me. And all those Zane Sackers are lucky. They're going to get experience at Sesame with me, obviously. But once the journey ends, you're, you're, you're going to get a user. You guys are also going to get a user. You're going to go back to Hollow being dirty slaves and being left behind. And being the side attention. You see what I'm saying? And not being a part. And not, not partaking in my Sky Source company, obviously. Yeah, so I think... I think John Wright Davis is perfect for the role of Eli, for, for VJ's father, obviously. The powerful the political leader in, in Safi's, obviously. But Eli fights in the book, obviously. And so for John Wright Davis, I could have him... I'm going to say, hey, John, are you okay doing your own stunts? Or you want? I can hire stunt doubles to do the fighting scenes for you if you want. If you're tired, obviously. You know, I, I don't know why. I, mean, I could do a few fighting scenes. You can have stunt, stunt doubles jump in and help me out. Help him out. Because he's, he's, he'll be like 84, 85 when he feels my... 84 when he feels my movie, he's there. Hey, Peter, what do you think of uh, Viggo Mortensen for the role of Merrimus, Captain of the Archers? I mean, I could picture Viggo, Viggo Mortensen as Merrimus, the, the archer, yeah. Merrimus is an older dude. He's in his late 50s, early 60s. I could picture Viggo Mortensen as Merrimus, the Captain of the Archer. Yeah, Peter, yeah. What do you think of him for Merrimus? I mean, I think he's perfect. Well, who thinks better, him or Don? I don't know. I mean, I think... Somebody tells me Peter will tell me Viggo is better. Somebody tells me John Farrell and Evelyn will tell me Don Chiel's better. I mean, I think Don Cheadle's better. Like, somebody tells me I'll choose Don Cheadle over Vigo. Like, I can picture him more for the role of Merriman's than Vigo, but I might choose Vigo over him. You never know. You never know, you see what I'm saying, You never know. You never know, you see what I'm saying, Never know. I know for v for Vigo and Don, I think it's a 50-50 grab, man. I think 50% chance I'll choose Vigo, 50% chance I'll choose Don. Because Vigo is really, really good for that Merrimus role, man. I can picture him as Merrimus, the captain of the archers. Because he did Lord of the Rings, he has experience doing like a sword movie. Whereas Don Chu does not have any experience doing a sword movie. You see what I'm saying? Vigo was Aragon in fucking Lord of the Rings. And he has that he has that presence on the screen as 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 as, as, as Aragon obviously. That's why he's really good for the Captain of the Archers. But I can picture Don Shields Captain of the Archers too. It's like 50, it's a 50 50 chance, man. But somebody tells me I'll choose Don Shield over him, but I might choose D Vigo over him. We never know. Don't hate me, Don Shield, you know what I'm saying? It's business, you know what I'm saying. Nothing personal, it's just business. Hey, Peter, what do you think of Vigo? I, I, Vigo's perfect, I, mean, I can picture Vigo. I mean, you're choosing a lot of my Lord of the Rings actors. Hey, I'm like, yeah, Peter, I think, I think it's cool to have a Lord of the Rings reunion. That way they click more with you. Because all these actors know Peter, they can click with, with him more. Because they know they, all these actors know Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson directed these actors. You see what I'm saying? Huh? Yo, I mean, I can picture Vigo Vigo Mortensen's Captain Captain the Archers. Yeah, I can picture Vigo's Mary. He has that. My look for Vigo Mortensen, he has like his um. I might have him cut. I'm. I, I mean, you think you think of him having long hair? I think of Vigo Mortensen having long hair like Aragon, except his hair is like great. He has a youth more. He has a more veteran presence. He has like his white hair, and he has like his whitish grayish beard, small little beard. Like he did for Lord of the Rings. He, he looks, he's a veteran. He's a captain of the archers. And he wears like this hood. Like he did in the Fellowship of the Ring as the ranger, obviously. Yeah, he wears like this hood. He's a captain of the archers. Well, he's sure you're creative. Yeah, I'm thinking something like that for Mermis. Captain of the archers, captain of the wall guards. And Mermis is a supporting character, so I'll pay him. He's, 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 in, a, he's in all three volumes. He's, he's in a lot of scenes. He's a, he's, a, he's, a major, he's a major supporting character, obviously. I'll match Vigo's salary with with uh, with Merrimus's salary with uh, Don Chiel's salary. I'll pay him his ten mil salary. It's 
good paycheck for Vigo. He doesn't make that all. And Hall, he probably makes his four or three million, three million for his movies, two million for his movies. Pay Vigo a nice 10 million bucks for salary. Hey, Vigo, I won't pay you for two years, but I'll give you $60,000 worth of commercial money during those two years. All right, that's a good deal, yeah. Because all these actors, all these A's actors have millions in their bank. Yeah, I'm fine. I can easily last for two years. I can easily pay my bills. Yeah, they all have millions in their bank. You pay your bills, but I'll help you out. I'll pay for your living and I'll pay for your feeding during the third year. You'll be staying in suites during the training. And I'll pay for your feeding, and I'll, and I'll give you like uh, twenty thousand dollars a third year. That's that's good. That's money you can use that money to hang out at the bar with your with your co-stars during your during your weekends off the third year. And you can also pay your phone bills, help you out a little bit, obviously. And the second year, I'll pay them forty thousand dollars worth of commercial money, which is nice pocket money. It's a nice like I don't know twenty grand, nineteen grand in your bank. It's nice pocket money for a fucking celebrity actor. You can use that money. You can use this money, guys, to pay for your chicken and your. Your chicken and your salad for your protein nutrition diet when you're training. I want Vigil to beef up because Vigil is, is a pretty jack guy. But I need him. I need him beefing up for the role because Mer Merimus takes off his shirt. Merimus takes off his shirt. Merimus has sex with uh with a Zayn woman in 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 in, in, in the prologue, I believe. In a prologue, yeah, prologue or Young Takas, I don't remember. Hey Vigo, I need you. You working out? I need you beefing up for the role. Vigo will be like 69 when he films my movie around. At 69, 70, he'll still be fine. He just needs to work out and, and, and be in shape for the role. I have no worries. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'm going to have my nutritionist, Vigo. Let your agent know. He'll give. He'll send you your nutritionist training schedule if he's chosen right and, and, and your training schedule. That way you're, you're prepped for the role, obviously. So I'll pay Vigo 10 million bucks. He's a small ace actor. He's pretty big. Pay him 30 million bucks. He, he has value. He did Lord of the Rings. And pay him 10 million. And then give him 0.02% of the profits. Which is a good, I don't know, 8 million royalties, 9 million royalties for Vigo. If 1.5 billion, if 1.5 million people buy a movie, and that movie does like 200, like billion plus, Vigo will make his 11 million royalties. So he signed like his 19 to like 21 million dollar deal, Vigo, around there. Most likely 19 million around there, 18 million around there deal he signed. It's a fat contract, obviously. He's going to walk away with like 8 million in his bank after taxes. And his agent in the rates. It's a good paycheck for Vigo. That's more money than what he makes in Hollywood. That's more money than what he made for Lord of the Rings. For Lord of the Rings, he probably made like his million, a million dollars around there. 900k he made for Lord of the Rings. Obviously. But work hard. Because I paid him. I have, I have no worry about it. I'll, 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 I you fucking kidding me? I'll, I'm going to work double harder for you than what I did for fucking New Line Cinema Warner Bros. Hollywood's dirty as fuck. New Line's fucking cheap. They served us fucking shitty fucking food. Shittier food, right? They showed pretty good food. They showed us like spaghetti, chili, and like beef, you know, some veggies and potatoes. And you're serving me like an all you can eat, like luxury buffet sliders, thin crust pizza, you know what I'm saying? Um, crispy fries, gravy, you know what I'm saying? Fried rice, um, um, uh, fried rice, teriyaki meats, ribs, wings, yeah, salad bar, you know, all you can drink milkshake, you know what I'm saying? They're going to work harder for me, the actors. They're going to work harder for me, obviously. Right? Yeah. Think about this. Sean Austin complained about his two fifty thousand dollars shitty check that he got. New Line couldn't have, the fact that that the, the fact that, that 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 asshole that asshole CEO at, at, at New Line Cinema who worked at, at New Line Cinema at the time. I don't know if he's still there. He's probably it's probably a different CEO. The fact that that guy told Elijah Wood he could have paid him more, and then he has a crappy agent. That's how you know Hollywood's cheap. They could have easy paid Sean Austin and Elijah Wood all the more money. They're just fucking cheap. They do. Yeah, we don't want to take out an extra two million bucks and pay these actors more money because we're fucking cheap. Yes, what New Line Cinema could have easily taken out two million dollars of their money and paid Elijah Wood at least a good like four hundred grand per movie around there. 500 grand per movie. They could have easily paid all the actors 500 grand per movie. They're just cheap. They didn't want to do it. Because they're cheap, obviously. Yeah. They're fucking cheap. So think about this. Sean Astin got his shitty 250k check, obviously. And he complained about his check. When I read the book, it said Sean Astin complained about his check. And he still destroyed the role of Sam Wise Gamgee. Oscar-worthy performance for Return of the King. I believe Sean Astin should have won an Oscar for Return of the King. If you go more, um, Ian McKellen won an Oscar for, for Fellowship of the Ring, I believe. He won an Oscar. I'm not surprised because he got his, his rich millions. That's why he destroyed the role out of everyone else. He stole the show, obviously. Sean Austin deserved an Oscar, and he didn't get an Oscar. And he got his shitty $2,000 check. You see what I'm saying? 
you can only imagine how much harder guys like Vigo, if he's chosen, I'm also like, I'm most likely, I might choose Donald Ray, you never know. You can only imagine how much hard these Zanes actors are going to work hard for me. You're looking at Oscar-worthy performances. Oscar-level performances. You're looking at something unheard of. Better performance what you got for these actors in the Rings. Yeah, man. That's why Zanes will be better than the Rings. I paid Lord of the Rings crewman the rich $150,000 salary. Obviously, and so all the crewmen are going to work harder for me. The supervisors got their $200,000 plus salary. And so they're all going to work harder for me. I don't have to worry about the crewmen quitting on me because I'm paying them the rich like 100 k and 50 k for the third and fourth year. They're going to work harder for me, obviously. Because they know they're going to they're gonna strike it rich for an average person. They're going to make like 100 grand, 80 grand after taxes. After two years of work, that's a nice paycheck, obviously. They can do good things with that money. Buy their nice used cars, buy a nice like $200,000 house, go on a vacation with their family. They can feed their families for a good year and a half. Yeah, it's a good paycheck for the crewmen. And so they're going to work harder for me than what they would do for Lord of the Rings. That's why I move be better. Why did digital work harder for me? Because I pay them more money. That's why I move be better. I, want, I don't have to worry about ladders appearing out of nowhere. I don't have to worry about messy, cheesy CGI like you got for Return of the King. No. They're going to work harder for me because I pay them more money, obviously. Obviously. They're going to work harder for me. Some zinger. They're going to work harder for me. Peter will work harder for me. He'll work double harder for me than one even in Lord of the Rings. Because he got his, uh, he got his, he signed his, I don't know, 400, like 30 million dollar deal. Peter, 400, 380, 430 million dollar deal Peter signed. With the royalties and the salary and bonuses, he'll work hard, double hard for me. He knows I, I'm paying, I'm paying him his rich bonuses and salary during the four years of, of, of the movie, and I'm also pay, he knows he's gonna strike it rich with the royalties, like three hundred million dollars worth of royalties. He'll work hard, Peter. He'll work really hard. Double harder for me than one even different Lord of the Rings. I have nowhere, but I'll work double harder for you than one even different New Line. Fuck New Line. New Line's fucking dirty as fuck. Yeah. I was a dirty safe. I have to go on the pit and do it. Yeah. The room smell like fucking ass. I have to put the fan on. Yeah, man. I got burned, I'm saying. Yeah, don't hate me, Hollywood, I'm saying. It worked harder for me, Peter. Hence why Zanus hence why Zanus be better than the Rings, guaranteed. I know Zanus be better because it's a better story than the Rings. At the same time, I'm paying everyone more money, and so everyone will work double harder for me than what they even did for Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's why I'll be better than Lord, than Lord of the Rings, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, it's once I sign all these actors. Once I sign all these actors for Zanus. Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson will be in the room with me. who will be shocked. Like, holy shit, Ivan. This is the biggest con movie contract ever for an entire cast. Like, all your actors are all making their millions, Ivan. Like, this is unheard of, Ivan. For Lord of the Rings, my cast got peanuts. And they worked hard for me. Yeah, like, my, my, yeah, my, yeah. Ian McKellen took all the pie. And all my other cast members got, like, peanuts, man. They all worked really hard for me. I can only imagine how much hard these actors are going to work for you, Ivan. You're paying them their fucking millions. You're giving them pieces of royalties. Ivan, you're giving all, like, 15 of your stars a piece of the royalties, Ivan? Ivan, like, you're being too generous, man. Like, Ivan, you don't have to give them a piece of the royalties, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? The, the money you're paying them is good enough. They can feed their families with this money for years. They can buy their nice cars. They can pay their mortgage, their monthly mortgages. They can, they, can, they can take their family vacation. They can feed their family for, for years, Ivan. You don't have to give them a piece of the royalties, Ivan. You're being too generous, Ivan. I would never do that. I'd take the whole 70%. I'm like, Peter, you're being greedy. I'm so, me and V's are going to take our 69%. We're still going to take our 69%. What? Yeah. Like, Peter, you're being greedy, man. Like, me and Vich are, gonna are, are, are still taking home our 7% pretty much. Yeah, well, I, mean, I never do that. Like, I mean, I, these actors not even worth your royalties, Ivan. You're the main show. Peter Jackson told me, Ivan, like, you're, at the end of the day, even though these actors are Hollywood stars, they're going to build some buzz. You're the main show, Ivan. This is your money, Ivan. You're giving all the actors a piece of your money, Ivan? You know what I'm saying? I can understand you're giving me a piece of royalties, but giving me a piece of royalties as well as your 17 and all the actors, Ivan? You're giving all these actors a piece of your royalties, Ivan? You're being a bit too generous, Ivan. I'll never do that. I take the whole 70%. I'm like, Peter, you're being greedy. <laughs> like, I'm still going to take home my 69%. Me and Vijay are going to make our, like, 50, 55, 60 billion dollars. And I don't know, 55 billion dollars from royalties. You know what I'm saying? Excluding our merch. It's, it's, it's pocket change, Peter. It's just, I'm, Peter, I'm not giving the actors a big chunk of the pie. I'm giving them a small, tiny piece. I'm, I'm, I'm not, trust me, Peter, I'm not stupid. I'm only doing this for Zayn's. For my Zayn's movie, for my Grace movie, I'm not going to do this. I'm only going to give the A's actors a, piece of the, a small, tiny piece of the profits. 
Now, I mean, that's smart. If you give them a piece of profits, they're gonna, I don't have to worry about them slacking off the actors. I'm going to get better acting out of the actors because I pay them their millions. Yes, because I pay them their rich millions. I gave them a piece of profits. You know, they're going to strike it rich. Peter Jackson won't have to work. The, Peter Jackson will get better acting out of all the actors. They're going to have Oscar-level worthy performances. But because my, my company is not associated with Hollywood, there is no Oscars. As once the red carpet, once the red carpet happens, the journey ends, I'm moving on into my Grace movie. And all the actors will beg. But I'm not resigning. You're, you're going to get what you deserve. After Zanz, the journey of Zanz is over, you're going to go back to Hollywood being left behind, being this high attention, and working in the Hollywood system, obviously. Sims air. That's why Zanz would be better than Peter Jackson the Rings, guaranteed. Okay, I'm putting $30 million. And I'm saying, hey, Peter, what do you think of an artificial... An artificial one acre mountain for the mountain of Southern Mountain of Gears. Ivan, you want to build a one acre mountain, Ivan? That's huge. Oh, yeah, Peter, a one, a one acre mountain, like that picture I showed you. We can pimp it out with an artificial waterfall, mossy trees, mossy, mossy trees, and then you have them, you have this pathway, and I build like a one acre ancient Gilly city with pillars. Ivan, like, look at something unheard of for your world. For Lord of the Rings, you built like small, tiny sets for the mountain, for the, for the snowy mountain in Fellowship of the Ring, and they built small sets for that. And it looked amazing. They built a small set for, for Moria, and it looked amazing. I can only imagine how your world would look like if you built a one-acre ancient... I'm going to build, like, a one-acre ancient Galactic city with pillars and rooms like Moria, obviously. You have the rooms where he feasts and sleeps. So I'm going to build a big, like, one-acre mountain for the mountain of... Saw the mountain of Gilead. the cursed mountain. A 0.8-acre forest. I can even build a one-acre forest. One-acre, 0.8-acre forest I can build. And you apply the special effects towards that forest. You're looking at something unheard of. Something better than Pandora because the world looks natural. Oh, Ivan, you're looking, you're looking at like an 8K world, something better than even Pandora. Jim, James Cameron, Av, James Cameron's Avatar Pandora and My Middle Earth, Ivan. Now, I can only imagine how horrific these beings are going to be, Ivan. There was once, once I what? Once John Howell and them drew all the pictures for the demonic animal characters, obviously. And me, Peter Jackson, decided what pictures we want and they hang up the pictures. Peter Jackson was like, holy shit, Ivan, this is freaky. You'll have goosebumps. Holy shit, Ivan. You're looking at walking devils, Ivan. I can only imagine how you you want to create a, a prosthetic mask based off this concert, Ivan. But yeah, Peter, and you're applying 415 toy minars towards this, this demonic mask, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, Peter, Ivan. You're looking at the most horrific being in movie history, Ivan. You're looking at the devil himself. You're looking at devils, Ivan. Demons and devils, Ivan. Ivan, you're looking at a revolutionization of technology. You're looking at a revolutionization of technology for worlding. Action sequences and even the horror of the demon wolves and bats. I mean, this movie's gonna have crazy buzz. We just shook the world, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, Peter. And that's why Zane's will be, will be the best horror told the most picture. Yeah, man. That's why Zane's will be the best story ever told the most picture. Because you're looking at demons, walking devils for the wolves and the bats. Unheard of. Think of action, action sequences, guys. Remember the Helmsley battle? That was badass. Think of action scenes better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Think of action sequences better than that. Think of a war better than Helm's Deep. Tacus and the Zane army fighting all the devils, the devil wolves. Yeah, man. 25,000 wolf army, guys. You remember how you saw the, the, the orcs in, in, in Helm's Deep? 10,000? Yeah, you're looking at 25,000 wolf army. Versus 15,000 Zane army. Yeah. You look at something crazy, yeah, man. You look at something crazy. You also have the world building. Remember how Helm's Deep for Helm's for Lord of the Rings they built a small set. They built like a 0 0.3 acre set for Helm's Deep around a 0 0.2 acre set for Helm's Deep, a small set, a pretty pretty decent sized set, and it looked amazing on camera. They, they applied the special effects towards that set and it looked amazing, Helm's Deep. I'm building like a one acre, one point five acre city for for for, for Zanus with a thirty feet wall, a one point five acre city for Barak with all these pavilion tents where the wolves sleep and where the wolves live, a zero point like six acre set for Cyrus, a one acre set for Safius. You know, I'm saying a big one acre mountain with like a pathway, mossy trees. Yeah, man, like a big big set, man. Imagine applying the CGI technology towards that big one acre mountain. You're looking at something unheard of. A revolution of technology. It'll look amazing. Whereas in Hollywood, how it works is they have, they, they have a few, like, they built some small tiny set, like a small, like, 0.1 acre set, 
and they apply the blue screen they, 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 to fill in the blanks, obviously. The world looks amazing, but it looks a little cheesy computery because they rely heavily on, on computer tech, software technology, obviously, CGI. You see what I'm For two towers, for Fangun Forest, they had like six trees and a blue screen. And they had Dominic Magnum and Billy Boyd um, climb on top of this animatronic uh, tree. And they applied the special effects towards that, towards Tree Bird and the Fangu Forest. It looked pretty good, obviously, but when, when you saw, when the moment you saw Dominic Madigan and, and what? And Billy Boyd climbing on top of Tree Bird, obviously, you saw the background and it looked a little bit computer because they really, it was, it's, it's, computer, it's a computer, it's a computer generated forest pretty much because they built cheap sets for Lord of the Rings because they couldn't afford it. They only had a nine million budget. Whereas me, I'm building like a 0 0.8 acre forest, man. That's the world will look real. The forest will look real. It'll look, it'll look unheard. It'll look amazing, obviously, beautiful, but it'll look very natural. Because I built big sets, obviously. Hence why Zane's guaranteed we be better than Peter Jackson with the rings by a slim margin. Guaranteed. And Peter Jackson knows. You can see if you die. I know. He, he's going to see if you die. He knows how good my Zane's will be. Look at a masterpiece, man. Yeah, man. You're looking at a masterpiece. You are looking at a masterpiece, guys. A fucking masterpiece. I have like nine minutes on my phone. Yeah. You're looking at a masterpiece for Zayn's guys. A fucking masterpiece. You're looking at a masterpiece. Billy Ivan, yes, you're looking at a masterpiece, guys. A masterpiece that I wrote. Yeah, man. I don't have to worry about crewmen quitting on me when, 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 I, when I film the movie, obviously. I don't have to worry about crit quitting on me, obviously. So what I'll do for the crewmen, I'll do a deal. Look, man, you're, you're more than welcome to quit, but if you quit, you no longer receive your checks. That's how it works, obviously, for, 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 the, for the crewmen, obviously. But I don't have to worry about the crewmen quitting on me because when you have a contract, the crewmen are allowed to obviously what? They're obviously allowed. Because in Lord of the Rings, some of the crewmen quit. So obviously Hollywood gave them the option. You can quit. But if you quit, you no longer, you no longer receive your checks, obviously. But I don't have to worry about the crewmen quitting on me because I paid them the rich $1,000 salary. They're, they're going to walk away with like hundred grand, eighty thousand dollars Most of the Lord of the Rings crewmen, I think, live in New Zealand, I believe. Uh, I think most of them are New Zealand people. Yeah, if they're, from, they're from New Zealand. They're going to make like $100,000 plus after taxes. They're not going to quit on me. And I save their ass. I'm spoiling them with a buffet. And what? And all you can eat. And all, all, like milkshake, Coke, all that stuff. And so I don't have to work. Peter, I'd be like, yeah, Ivan. Lord of the Rings, some of my lighting crewmen quit. Because the money, Warner Bros. paid them a shitty salary. They fed us shittier food. The crewmen are like, yeah, fuck this. This is not worth the labor. Yeah. The $35,000 you're paying me is not worth the fucking labor. Yeah, it's not. $35,000 for a couple years of work is a shitty paycheck. It's a shit paycheck. It's, it's like minimum wage job, man, pretty much, right? It's shitty paycheck. Well, if you get 150K, that's a nice paycheck, man. That's a nice paycheck. 180, 100 grand, 80 grand in your bank, man. That's a nice paycheck. You can do good things with that kind of money. You can feed your family for a year and a half. You can buy a nice $200,000 house. Rent a nice apartment. A nice expense. You can rent a nice $2,000 a month. A $1,500 a month apartment. The ones who are single, right? You know what I'm saying? You, can, you know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm giving the crew a $2,000 gift card, which is nice, obviously. If the crewman, Ivan, what about a bonus? I'm like, guys, your $2,000 gift card is your bonus. After filming ends, you guys get your $2,000 gift card. That's your bonus, which is nice, obviously, as, as, as Hollywood does not give you guys $2,000 gift cards. I'm giving you a good deal. If you don't like my offer, you're more than welcome to work in Hollywood and make your $35,000 if you don't like my offer. I mean, it's a deal, yes. I won't have to worry about negotiating with the crewman. Because the crewman what? The crewman what? The crewman know they're, ne they're never going to make this money in Hollywood. Hollywood can't afford to pay them that kind of money. That's why I don't have to worry about the crewman uh, being greedy and go and trying to. I don't have to worry about negotiating with the crewman because I know they'll never make this money in Hollywood. All right, I mean, it's a deal. 
You're very generous. Thank you, Ivan. Yeah, some of them might even cry. Ivan, thank you so much, man. Like, you know, so I, I, with this money, I can feed my family. Yeah, with this money, you can feed your family for a good, like, year and a half. The chances are all these Lord of the Rings crewmen, because all these Lord of the Rings crewmen are all going to be, like, 27 years older. So all the people who were, like, in their 20s back then are all, like, in their what? Their late 40s now. They, most of them probably have, are married and have kids and all that stuff. And you, the money that I'm paying them, they can feed their families. People are like, Ivan, you don't have to pay the crew 150k. Pay them 80, 70k. Pay them 60k. That's enough. They can feed the family. Like, Peter, you're being greedy. I know what I'm doing. If you pay the crew 150k, they're going to work double harder for you and you're going to get a better movie. You don't have to worry about ladders appearing out of nowhere like you got for your Two Towers movie. You don't have to worry about having a bunch of men left and the next scene there's 10 men left. You don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about cheesy CGI. You don't have to worry about that. You see what I'm saying? You're going to, what a you're digital, your old company, they're all going to work harder for me, obviously. And that's why you'll get a better movie. You don't have to worry about Carl Urban or Viggo Mortensen if they're chosen and Zoe King and all them and Ariana Grande, John Bagan. You don't have to worry about those actors slacking off. They're all going to work really hard for you because they're all getting paid their millions. They're getting paid a lot of money. And they know they're going to strike it rich with the royalties. Hence, they're going to work harder for me, obviously. Those actors are going to work harder for me. You see what I'm saying? They're going to destroy the role. When I mean destroy the role, you're looking at like Oscar-worthy perform Oscar-level performances. Like Sean, Sean, like something on the same level as like Ian McKellen, even if not even better, because they're getting they're paying the actors. Some of the actors are even making more than what Ian McKellen made for Lord of the Rings. And I gave them the freedom. They're gonna work, and I'm spoiling them with a the buffet. These actors are gonna work harder for me. They're gonna destroy the role. They're going to destroy the role. You know what I'm saying? They're going to destroy the role of of of, of the movie man. That's why looking at a better movie than Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, guaranteed. I'm going to tell Peter, Peter, I don't want what? I don't want you filming volume three scenes while you're filming, while we're filming volume one. No, you can lose, you can lose the flow and progression of the actor's performance. These actors are all going on the same journey with me, fighting that, that devil, obviously, and fighting those devils. I want these actors to grow and mature as the volumes progress. That way, that way, that, 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 that way they can prepare themselves mentally for, for, for that scene when we're fighting the devil bats and wolves. Peter, I need to prepare myself mentally for the agony and the, no, no, knowing that I have to fight, fight, fight that devil. Obviously, I need to prepare myself mentally. I don't want you filming volume three. Why film one? No, let's let's film everything. Let's film volume one first. Get that over with, and then we move on to volume two. And then we move on to volume three. Okay, I want you saying yes, Peter. I don't want you doing what you did for Lord of the Rings. As Elijah Wood said, yeah, it was very tough for me to film Return of the King scenes and Fellowship Ring scenes at the same time because felt the the, the 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 Frodo and Fellowship Ring is not the same Frodo in Return of the King. The Frodo in Return of the King is 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 what. Is 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 corrupted by the ring. He's 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 more fatigued. He's more tired. Whereas a Frodo in in in, in Felsher Ring is innocent. You know what I'm saying? He's not corrupted by the ring in 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 in, 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 in Felsher Ring. Yeah, that's why Elijah would said it was a bit tougher for him to ha to constantly have to transition from 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 Frodo and Felsher Ring to Frodo and Return of the King. Yeah, it can ruin the progression and flow of the care of the of the actor's performance. Don't do that for Zanius, Peter. Please, I don't want you doing that. Tell Peter that the way he knows, man. Okay, Ivan, we'll film Volume 1 first. Yes, Peter, let's film Volume 1 first, and then we film Volume 2, then we film Volume 3. Don't do a thing where you film all these volumes at the same time. No, don't do that. Film Volume 1 first, and then we film Volume 2, then we film Volume 3. See what I'm saying here? That way the actors grow as the volumes progress. You see what I'm saying here? Because it's not just me. It's not just Tactius who matures and grows. All the other supporting characters, they all mature and grow too. Obviously, they, they're, 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 they're all a part of that journey with Tactics, obviously. Fighting the devils, wolves, and devil bats. You need to have all these actors grow as the volumes progress, obviously. And that's why don't film multiple volumes at the same time. No. Stick to volume one first. Finish, we finish that. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? And we finish volume two. It's a wrap. And we finish volume three. And then the filming ends. And everyone will beg, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And after that, filming ends. And I'll ask Peter, Peter, how long will it take to film the three volumes? I don't know, Ivan. Is nine months enough? No, Ivan. I think you're going to need more time. You might, I think you should extend to maybe 12 months. Okay, fine. I'll start filming in February 2029, and I'll end in, in, in February 2030, filming uh, the movie. And post-production will probably take seven to eight months. So I'll release Zane's probably in the fall of 2030. Maybe October, September 2030, I'll release Zanus in the fall. And most likely it will not be the summertime. No, most likely the fall I'll release Zanus. Perhaps maybe towards Christmas I might release it. Towards the end of 2030, November maybe, October, towards 2030, I'll, I'll release my, my, three, my three volumes of Zanus on Amazon for the world to buy. For $159.99, that's a good deal for you guys.
Yeah, you gotta tell Peter this so what he knows. Otherwise, he might he might film multiple volumes at a time. No, Peter, I don't want you to do that. Film volume one first. The prologue, Young Tactius, and the second and the second half, volume one. With Tactius, Papari, Lithius, Queen Sarah, and all them, and Merimus and Cassius and all them, and Aerotet and all them. And you end volume one, and volume two is when you meet all the Southerners and you have the story with Queen Sarah and, and Merimus and Lithius and all them, as well as Cassius and Suetonius when they fight for four and twenty five wolves. And the scene with Aerotat and all of them. Yeah, you have to you have to what? Film that for volume two, then you film volume three. That way you you, you don't interrupt the flow or progression of the actor's performance. Because all the act the characters, all the major characters grow as the volume progresses, obviously. You'll see why I mean the book, they all grow. That's why, Peter, do not do that for my fucking Zanes movie. See what I'm saying, huh? Do not do that for my Zayn's movie. Otherwise, you can ruin the progression and flow of the actor's performance. You don't want to do that for, for my movie, man. Trust me, Peter. You don't, you don't want to do that. All right, you're saying yes. You do not want to do that for my Zayn's movie. See what I'm saying? You do not want to do that for my Zayn's movie. Hence, why Zayn's movie, the best story ever told in Molson Picture, will even beat up Peter Jackson the Rings by a slim margin. Obviously. And that's why Peter will beg his ass. If I make an argument with you next week, I'm like, no, Peter. You were good for Zane, you're not good for that secret agent. Well, Ivan, please, man. I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. Your company's supposed to burn in Hollywood, Ivan. You paid me more money. You gave me my freedom. I want to work for you. I want to be saved. I'm saying you might cry. I'm like, no, Peter. You can beg all you want. I am not saving you for the grace of You were good for Zane, you're not good. For what? For the what? For the grace. For, for, you were good for Zane, you're not good for the grace game movie. Anyways, if this video, stay tuned. I, I'll make another video perhaps later on in the evening or I might make a video tomorrow morning. It's Ivan Amara. I'm signing out. Peace.